Hello, uh, my name is Hannah Crabtree and I live in Layton, Utah. And someone thought that it would be beneficial to you to watch this video to um, consider doing a service project, um, coordinating it with me, uh, serving refugees. Uh, did you know that one human being is forcibly displaced from their home every two seconds? Did you know that an average Syrian lives on a refugee camp for nearly 17 years? Did you know that most women manage their feminine hygiene with leaves because there is a void of feminine hygiene products for them to use? This just makes my heart ache as I think of these refugees living on these camps with no plumbing, few provisions, and poor health. This is where I try to brighten their day the best way that I can with what little there is. Um, my primary focus is collecting and assembling hygiene kits. Um, they are shipped overseas to places like Turkey, Bangladesh, Jordan, Ukraine, and the Congo and so many other countries. Um, I collect enough donations to assemble around 2,000 kits every two to three months. Um, the items that are in the hygiene kits are full-sized shampoo, uh, bar of soap, full-sized toothpaste, a toothbrush, a comb or a brush, a washcloth, and deodorant. And then there is also the feminine hygiene kit, which consists of a towel, a shampoo, hair ties, a brush or a comb, and uh, feminine hygiene products. Um, and then there's also towels that are donated uh, that I convert into washcloths because um, it's more cost effective that way. And I just, I really enjoy that. I get a lot of fulfillment out of that. So all of this is possible through service projects um, that I've done in the past that you too can be involved with. Uh, first of all, I think that it would be good for you to know who I work through and with. Um, I'm sponsored by Lifting Hands International. Uh, they're a nonprofit that serves local and overseas refugees. Um, the Church of Jesus Christ has put on their website recommend, recommending that we work with Lifting Hands International as a community. And um, if you recall Light the World at Christmas time with the vending machines, uh, the vending machines where you can buy a goat or chickens, well, a lot of these goats and chickens actually go to the refugees. And I think that is just amazing. Um, so what does our connection look like? Um, what happens is I've been invited to do presentations for Relief Society activities on a ward or stake level. Um, I also do them at the Young Single Adult Wards with the men and women together. And um, I've also done some interfaith activities. So anyone can do service, right? Um, at the very beginning of the activity, I get about a 20 to 30 minute presentation. And the first thing that I do is give them refugee awareness and teach them a little bit about the life of a refugee, um, life, uh, what it looks like in their camp. Um, why is it that they can't leave their camp? What, what are the obstacles that are in their way? Um, and then, I, of course, I give scriptural and leadership references uh, to make it a, a spiritual experience. Um, I also educate them on uh, scientific information that um, service actually heals people. Um, it can heal you physically mentally, with mental health, um, spiritually, and emotionally. So, you know, services is definitely something that I've benefited from and can testify that the more you serve, just the better you feel all around. Uh, the last thing that I do is I teach um, the app and introduce the app Just Serve that the church has designed, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has designed for the community to use. 
Um, it's an application that lists um, multiple service projects that that we can all um, be proactive and, and do ourselves. Um, did you know that uh, Just Serve was actually listed in the Relief Society section of the handbook? Um, it encourages our sisters to utilize um, the Just Serve app to pro, uh, meet our mission as Relief Society sisters to give refuge and relief to those that are in need. Um, and then I, I share tips um, of the what nots and the what do's that, that make a, a service project successful. Um, and then after the presentation, I provide materials for um, everyone to be able to make note cards. Uh, these note cards are also included in the hygiene kits and I try to make them and encourage them to be as colorful as possible because there isn't a lot of co color there on those camps. And so um, we give them love and encouragement through these notes and and hopefully it gives them hope to have a brighter day tomorrow. Um, and then lastly, part of the service project, uh, I invite your group to bring one or um, donations of either one or two items that go inside the hygiene kits. And you know, one person can bring five, 10, or just one, anything helps, right? Um, and then you and I can decide on what uh, items that we're going to do to put in the kits. And I try to focus on the ones that I mostly need to complete the kits so I can get them shipped out as, as quick as possible. Um, this service project has been known to be so successful and rewarding for those that have participated. Um, it truly does fulfill the sacred covenants that we make at baptism and on Sunday when we take the sacrament and our temple covenants that we have made um, to be his disciple and to take upon his name as our own um, and to do service in his name. Um, I found a quote that I, I just love by Joseph Smith. He said, we are to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, to provide for the widow, and dry up the tear of the orphans. We are also to comfort the afflicted, whether we are in this church or any other church or in no church at all. And I just, I just love that, that any, anyone can, it, that has a heart and compassion can truly serve. In Matthew 25, 35 through 36, uh, it's a very familiar scripture. For I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me and in prison and you came unto me. What I find interesting is that these refugees that are in such destitute meet this criteria of the entire scripture verses. They are hungry because they have limited resources of food. They're thirsty because of their plumbing. They have no plumbing. They have to walk five miles. They send their children, that's what they do all day long, is go back and forth five miles each way to get water for their families. Um, they're strangers to us but they are our brothers and sisters, and it, it is important that we keep that in mind as we serve them. They are naked because they have very few clothing articles, articles of clothing, and they are in prison. They're in prison of not knowing when their turmoil is going to end. They're in prison because of the bureaucratic logistics that take place that can be corrupt and that they are not receiving the rights and privileges that they are supposed to as refugees. And in most cases, they are truly reprieved from. <clears throat> King Benjamin stood high on a tower and he said, 
Um, when ye are in the service of your fellow being, ye are in the service of your God. And I just, I just invite you to do that, um, to serve him and let's serve one another. Um, let's share the good news that he lives and he lives through us. He lives through our actions, our words, and our deeds. So I, I invite you to please join forces with me uh, so we can serve these, these wonderful refugees. If meeting with me to organize a service project is something that appeals to you, uh, you're more than welcome to text me at 385-626-5643. And I do travel. I'll go down to St. George and up to Idaho if it is on a stake level um, that I do that. Otherwise, I will um, do ward and stake events and interfaith events um, as south as Payson and as north as Logan. And I'll go as west uh, as Tooele and east as um, Park City. So I just, I thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit long and I, I just want to share my testimony um, of our Savior Jesus Christ, that he loves you. He loves you and he appreciates you. He's given you these blessings that you have so we can bless others. He loves these refugees. He loves me and I love him so much. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.